So, a couple of weeks back I watched a channel on YouTube called SourceFed and they went into a discussion about uh, evolution and what humans have evolved into. Slightly. So, and this got my interest, it piqued my interest and I went in and did more research into it. I went on to Wikipedia, went onto YouTube uh, and I looked into a lot of other stuff and this is what I found. There's, there's a thing called aquatic ape theory in which we as humans are evolving or were evolving into a water-based ape. I'll give you all the facts that I know and then you can come to your own conclusion whether you believe it or not. Firstly I'll start off with what SourceFed gave me and that's when our fingers and toes get wet they um, wrinkle they become prune-like and the, uh, the university that's done this study has shown that we can pick up things better when our hands are pruning and when our tone, toes go pruning that, that's a scientific word by the way, pruning that means we get better grip on wet surfaces and slime surfaces and that got me thinking, you know, if we're in rivers and lakes and stuff then that's how we can move so more, so much more easily than other animals and we can grab stuff like pebbles and weapons and fish and stuff. Then I went into more research and found a lot more. So our spines are a lot more flexible than most other land animals. If you see, they, they bend and they would help us be able to swim a lot more easier underwater. Then we've got the bits between our fingers and toes. We've got very slight webbing between our finger and toes and obviously that will be to help with the swimming as well. Human gain a lot more fat reserve than other land animals but we can see this in aquatic mammals like walruses and seals. We're the only apes that have actually shed their fur to be able to move better within the water. Uh, you can have a look at dolphins for example of other marine life forms that have become slimlined to be able to swim underwater. If you look our hair grows in the direction so water runs off our bodies and again this makes us become more streamlined in water environments. We walk upright, not many apes can do this and this is so we can get our head above the water while in a safe environment. A few other apes do this but when they're travelling along rivers. A trained human can hold their breath for up to 20 minutes. This is the same amount of time that a dolphin can dive underwater before they need to take some air. There's tribes all around the world that still hunt underwater. There's actually one tribe that I can think of that controls its iris so it can see in dark corners of underwater environments. When babies are born, they have the natural instinct to A, hold their breath, and to B, swim. Maybe they should be born underwater or in a water environment. And you know, if you don't believe me, then you know, I can think of at least one other animal that is evolving into an aquatic life form. I think that covers everything that I wrote down. I hope you enjoyed it. I find this whole theory fascinating. I have some kind of obsession with water. I'm not the strongest of swimmers, but I enjoy being around water, the sound of water, the smell of water, the floating in water, and I'm so obsessed with underwater life forms and aquatic life forms, especially the mammals, the whales, the dolphins, the seals. And I hope that you know you have thoughts about this and let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you have learned something new. Let me know if you disagree with it completely. Uh, do a video response or you can write below. I might have said that before and just just let me know. If you do like this then give me a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you're new. I don't talk about science all the time but you can go back to my videos and have a look what I do talk about. Okay I think that covers everything I'm just gonna babble on a little bit more because that's what I do with my videos and thank you for watching. Ta-ta for now.
I think that covers everything that I could think of. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. Uh, I'm not. Um, why do I say um? Just let me know. 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 Let me know.